Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today I'm going to be talking about the Halo 5 beta. Now, I haven't made a video about a beta since the Destiny beta, and that one I made because I was kind of mad at the beta. This one, I'm not nearly as mad at the beta, but since Halo 5 is so early in development, I feel like I should post my thoughts so maybe I can actually influence the development. So, uh, before I really get into this, the footage that you're going to be seeing is me and my friend uh, Sauce Jam. We're playing different modes. Mainly, we play uh, Team Deathmatch or Slayer as they call it and we play uh, Breakout I think it's Breakout yeah it's Breakout where you only get one life per round um, I want to give you a little bit of background with me and my Halo career I have played very little Halo in the past I play Halo a little bit with my friends here and there uh, I really got into it when the Halo Master Chief Collection came out played through the Halo 1 and 2 campaign played multiplayer on all the different uh, games so I'm familiar with Halo but I'm not a long time Halo fan um, so let's get into it uh, Halo 5 beta is a the longest beta I've ever seen and it's one of the best betas that I've seen in a while in my opinion there's two different types of <clears throat> two different types of betas that you'll see there's hype betas and then there's actually functional betas for example the destiny beta that was purely a hype beta that that beta came out within a month of release if I remember right, maybe a month and a half, and there was absolutely no time to change anything before the actual game came out. By that time, they're finishing up the game, they're testing for bugs and whatnot. They don't have time to change any core mechanics of the game. Their other type of beta is the ones that come out way ahead of time, which can actually influence development, like this one, which I appreciate that I can actually um, play the game, give influence back to the developers, and actually see changes. This is not for hype, this is for an actual utility purpose and I, I like that a lot so the beta lasts almost a month and it's uh, every week or two they add a map or two and a new game mode and I really only played the first couple of weeks of the Halo beta so pretty much I mostly only played Slayer and uh, Breakout so I will talk about what I liked and I'll talk about what I didn't like and then I'll talk about what I think should be changed <clears throat> um, I loved the game and how it felt it felt great um, I'm not a huge Halo fan. I, I'm, um, I, I like Halo a lot. First off, I do like Halo, but I'm not a big fan of this stiff movement style that Halo One, Two, Three had. Um, I work with it, but it's not my favorite. Halo Five feels a lot different, and I think in a good way. Uh, you can sprint, you can dash, you can hover, you can ground pound. They're all really fun things to do, and they feel natural. Um, but that being said, it's a very different field in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I've played quite a bit of. That one is more of a hyperspeed movement style, where everything's just pow, fast, boom, slam, run as fast as you can, this moving so fast you can barely see what's on screen. Halo 5 is a little bit slower than that, but still very fast, and a lot smoother than that, which is hard to explain unless you play it. But considering that the Halo has long kill times and the shields and all that, it's not a twitch shooter, I think it feels great. Um, when I first got into a match, I just oohed and awed over how great it felt. So it feels good. I will say that the new movement feels great. Um, the boost and the little abilities feel a lot less intrusive than the Halo 4 boosts. Because I like the boost in Halo 4, except every time you hit it, if I'm remembering this right, and if I'm wrong, um, you can comment very angrily. But it would kick you out to third person briefly when you boosted in Halo 4. Halo 5, you just boost and stay in first person. It's a lot less disorienting. Um, I know aim down sights is super controversial. And a lot of people are whining and complaining. And uh, frankly, they need to stop it. We are five games, in, uh, five. We're five number games in the Halo, plus ODST and Reach and all that. Uh, it's about time we got some proper ADS. I know that that's not how the purest Halo used to be, but if you're gonna make a fighter uh, shooter these days, uh, you need to have ADS. That's just the way life is. You need to have sprint. You need to have ADS. You need to have something. Honestly, that puts it like Call of Duty. Like it or not, Call of Duty is the standard for shooter these days. I don't know if I like it. I even like Call of Duty, and I don't know if I like that. But um, that's just the way it is. So if you're going to make a next-gen shooter, that's how it has to be. That being said, I think Halo does a good job of making it unique. 
The aim down sights don't give you much advantage. Uh, it felt really good to me because I'm used to the Call of Duty aim down sights, Metro, uh, pretty much every first person shooter ever. But uh, it felt good to me. That being said, when you get hit by bullets, it kicks you out of aim, aim down sights, and that's nice. Um, when you're aimed down sights um, while in the air, it makes you hover. And that's kind of a mixed bag because when you hover, you are a sitting duck. But on the other hand, you can get in some really weird places up in the top of the corners of a room or something while in a gunfight. And your enemy may track you back falling to the ground because that's where they expect you to land. And you don't land there and you can get the jump on them. Um, so it's, it's just another tactic that can be used for or against you. And I like how that feels. Um, let's see, what else? The guns all feel pretty good. Um, <laughs> as much as I tried, I could never get a kill with a pistol. But that being said, I'm not very good at Halo in general. And I didn't even get that great of footage for Halo 5. A lot of the footage that you're seeing on screen right now is from my friend, Sauce Jam, and he's awesome, and he's much, much better than me. So I, I never got a kill with a pistol. The Roth, uh, <laughs> the rocket launcher is great. It's really fun to use and easy to use. The assault rifle's alright. The battle rifle is a monster slaying machine if you can manage to hit headshots. Um, it, all the weapons feel good. None of them feel distinctly overpowered, but they also don't feel like they're all the same gun. There's The battle rifle is definitely stronger than the assault rifle. The assault rifle is definitely stronger than the SMG at range. And the SMG is stronger at close range than the assault rifle. So all that feels good. Um, let's see, what else, what else? But that's all the good stuff. Um, the maps are okay. Um, I played mostly on the first two maps, Empire and whatever the other one was. I can't remember what the other one was called, but I've mostly played on those two maps. And the one that's not Empire, that was my favorite of the two. That one was really fun. It's a remake, I believe. But um, the maps are good, which Halo maps are almost always great. Let's see, what else? That's pretty much everything I liked. In general, I liked the beta a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, now, let's talk about the stuff that I didn't like, now that I'm already, like, seven minutes into the video. Um, the number one thing, this has to, has to, has to be addressed, is grenade spamming. Oh my gosh, that's a problem. Now, it may not sound like a problem until someone cross maps a grenade, blows up at your feet, and insta-kills you through your shield. That is no fun whatsoever. Um, especially when in Slayer, people spawn with two friggin' grenades every life. And you can pick more up on the field. It's just too much grenades. The grenades are super powerful and they have super short fuses. And there's no bloody grenade indicators. And that's all needs to be addressed. That's the biggest thing that I could not handle about the Halo 5 beta. Was the stupid darn bloody grenades there too much so that needs to be addressed they need to be nerfed somehow whether they are um the, the one hit kill range is much shorter whether the fuses are longer um i think a grenade indicator is a must-have i mean you have aim down sight sprint boost i mean you've taken from every other shooter pretty much why can't you have a grenade indicator that you've had in previous halos so i'm pretty sure there was a grenade indicator in previous halos if not it's time we need a grenade indicator um the uh let's see what else the matchmaking was really mediocre uh if there were only two people like when i me and sauce tried to play together not uncommon to have to wait five plus minutes to get into a match and this isn't even necessarily halo's fault but the rate that people leave matches is unreal they get into a match and they wait for 30 seconds and then they leave well, you're the problem. If you can't get into a match because you're quitting and you can't find a match, and then you quit and you can't find a match, you're the problem. You need to stop it. So, um, that's not even Halo's fault. They didn't even put an exit button. You have to kill your app. So they're doing what they can. Um, the matchmaking takes forever. Sometimes we'll have full, all eight players, and it still won't matchmake. It won't find a, a, a round for us for a full minute or two, and then people will start leaving. So that's no fun. Um, this is a minor thing, but a couple of times when I got a kill, it'd show up two kill text dialogue things in the bottom corner. Once when I had died in Breakout and was spectating, um, 
when our team lost, it the text came up that said your team won. So that was different. Um, trying to think what else. Mostly the grenades. They have to be addressed. It was unbelievable how annoying that was. I mean, we. I had to the point where I, I didn't even want to play it anymore. Because, especially on Breakout, on the small maps, you can almost throw grenades from spawn to spawn. And on Breakout, where you have no shields, you just you get trashed with grenades. One grenade, even four or five feet away from you, is an insta-kill. Ugh. So, the grenades need to be addressed. That's the main thing. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um... Hmm. I don't know. But that's about it. So, uh, yeah. Overall, I really like the beta. I'm hopeful for Halo 5. And I think the grenades desperately need to be addressed. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the awesome footage. And I hope you also enjoyed my footage. And um, Project Spark is now cooperating with me. So, last couple of days, I've whipped up a really fun combat world with some sweet mobility. That's a lot more intelligent than previous combat worlds that I've created. So I should be uploading a video of that in the very near future. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.